Hey everyone, today I will be showing you how to make this quilling envelope. The theme of the quilling envelope is kids. You can give it to any child on any occasion like happy birthday, baby shower, etc. etc. I am starting off by taking this plain envelope. Let me know in the comment section below if you want a tutorial on how to make an envelope and I would love to do, do that video for you guys. I have an idea what I will be doing today with those quilling strips but I will be executing it for the first time so I am very excited to see how it will turn out and the best part is you all guys will be uh, there with me uh, during this process. Let's see how it will turn out. For a reference, I have sketched what uh, on a I have sketched on a paper whatever was in my mind, and on that curved space, I will be writing something. I will write happy birthday. You can write, but you can write anything, like anything of your choice. So let's start off by making the face of the figure. For this, I will be taking this skin color strip, and the. Then insert or just you know put the fix the quilling pin, quilling needle and start twisting it. Twist it, twist it, twist it until you reach the other end. Now when you are done just take it out from the needle and loose it up. And before doing that you know take the reference of the sketch. I will take the reference of the sketch that how much big I want the face to be so just doing that sorry guys I, I am very bad in explaining things like that I guess whatever I am doing is clear to you and you can understand it how to do it so yeah just deciding the size and when you are satisfied with your size uh, glue the Apply glue on the open end and paste it like so. Yeah. Then place it on the envelope when it, what uh, where you want to paste it. I will not be pasting right now. Now let's start by making the main body of the figure. Now I'll be making a girl. So the shape of the quilling thing will be triangle now if you want it to be a boy then uh, shape it a square let's see how to do it now for this i'll be taking this a uh, baby pink color on the camera it's catching more like peachy pink but re in reality it was a baby pink so just quilling it as we did earlier just twisting it twisting it and twisting it when you are done twisting just take it out and loose it up and separate all the layers like so now take the reference of the sketch and decide whether you want it to be more small or big just it will help you to decide when you are satisfied with the size just glue it up very nicely like so And then mold it into a, a triangle shape by by giving a pressure of your fingers. I hope you guys I hope you guys are understanding how to convert it into a shape into different shapes like this. Only you can give it a heart shape or a square shape or anything. Let's make the legs of the figure. Now I'm uh, taking the same skin strip, skin color strip, and dividing in it into two because I don't want very big legs and why to waste it you know con hashtag conjuice <laughs> so let's I've just divided it into two parts and now quill it and twist it till you reach the other end now loose it up and just Separate it out, separate the layers of the circle and decide the size of the leg. When you are done, when you are satisfied with the size, just glue the open end 
fried glue on the open end and just paste it like so and then mold it into an oval shape by applying the pressure of your fingers and and then place it on the envelope where you want to paste it like like this made made the other leg and the two hands i'm doing the exact same thing just molding it into an oval shape and and your hands and legs are ready basically your whole figure is ready so let's start of let's start pasting it or fixing it on the place apply the glue generously on the on the on the on the on the figure on the on the what what the hell i was saying <laughs> on the figure just apply it very nicely and when you are satisfied with the amount of glue just paste it on the envelope and press it firmly with your fingers don't press it very hard or otherwise it will move from the place now let's move to the other side of the envelope on which i will be making a girl child who is swinging so just uh, checking the size of the string by on um, which will give the look of the string and just cutting it down with the string i i don't have any measurement just eyeball it just doing that and then again placing it to see where i have to stick it because i will be sticking right now Here's a quick tip: tip, apply the glue halfway and just spread it all the way. This way, you will ensure that you are not applying too much of glue, and, and this will give it a neat work. And you are at the same time you are not wasting it. So I'm done doing that and just pasting it very nicely. Press it down firmly, and then. Do the same thing with the another string. Place it parallel to the first string. Again, I don't have any measurement. Just eyeball it, and you will be good to go. Good to go. Why? Okay. Now let's make the main figure, main body. Now just taking the same skin color strip and folding it into two half. Now for this figure, I will be needing. Everything smaller than the first one, so just divide it into two halves. Now I will be quilling it as we have done earlier. Just twist it, twist it, twist it, yo, and then loose it, loose it up by separating it. Just doing that, loose, loose, loose. Okay. Now, now, and I'm still doing it. This shows that my editing sucks, but it's okay. You guys will understand. Now, I am just saying that you have to place it and blah blah blah. And now, when I am happy with the size, I will be gluing it as we have did, uh, as we have done earlier many times. Just doing the exact same thing. placing it where i want to paste it now taking that same baby pink color strip making the same um triangle but but the size will be smaller as i am i will be folding the strip into two halves like so and just do it in the exact same manner as we did it did it in a, in the previous triangle now we'll take the leftover half from from which we have made the face of the figure and from this we will make the hands and legs in the exact same manner as we did it earlier just separating it and molding it into a into an oval shape and Uh, I'm just pasting it and then placing it on the envelope. So this is how our how the whole figure is ready. Now let's move on to the seat of the swing. So I'm just roughly 
sketching it, marking it, and then eyeballing the length of the strip. I have I have uh, taken a brick color strip for the seat, and I will be cutting three strips. Just eyeballing it. No, there there are no measurements, but if you want, you can measure it. And here goes the second one. Just fold it and cut it. like so now the last strip is also done now i will paste all the three of them like so just place it carefully and press it firmly and now the final final step is to paste all the all the parts of the figure and this is how our figure is done now on the blank space i will write happy birthday with the help of fevi fevi call or any craft glue glue as it will give me a very nice uh, 3d effect when it is all dried up meanwhile i will put uh, two rhinestones on each of the figure to make the eyes of the figure since it is all dry uh, all dry dried up i will paint it with white the glue took about 4 to 5 hours to dry as there were two coats of it so just painting it very nicely i i'm loving the way it turned out now i now i was not satisfied with the color combination to make it more vibrant i added a neon pink color on the triangle and just paint, um, giving the whole envelope a grassy effect by applying a uh, dark green color and then outlining the letters with black to give it a more cartoonish and cute look this is how our envelope is ready i hope you guys enjoy this video and it was helpful for you if you yes, give it a big fat thumbs up rate comment and share and follow me on all my social medias and if you recreate this please do send it to me on any of my social media by putting the hashtag love learning please hit the subscribe button and the bell near it it will mean a lot to me and i upload videos every week so i'll meet you in my next video till then keep learning and take care bye